Hello everyone, this is Tiny Coder back again with another coding session. So this session, I'll show you guys a new thing in Raspberry Pi called ultrasonic sensors. So what are ultrasonic sensors? Well, so ultrasonic sensors are actually sensors that send out some ultrasonic radiation and that's how their sensors work. So this is how an ultrasonic sensor looks like and it has four pins. So it has the VCC pin here and it has the trigger pin, and here there's the echo pin, and there's also the ground pin. So these are basically the four pins that an ultrasonic sensor has. And this is how an ultrasonic sensor works. So first, this is like the speaker of it. So that's basically just uh, giving out some ultrasonic radiation. And this is the microphone, so it receives some of it. And this is just the obstacle. So first, uh, the speaker sends some ultrasonic radiation here, and then once uh, once there's an obstacle, what will happen is that the ultrasonic radiation will bounce back, and then once it bounces back, it will hit the microphone, and then the microphone will basically detect it will, it will basically detect the object because the ultrasonic radiation came back. So that's how it works basically. And now before we go on to that, how do we wire it up? Like what I mean is how do we make the circuit of it well so this is the circuit of the ultrasonic sensor in raspberry pi so first i have my vcc pin here and that goes through this red wire which ends up uh, going to this positive terminal and then i have another wire from there which ends up going to five to the five volt pin and then i have another one which is the trigger pin and that ends up and that ends up going through this green wire which goes to GPIO 18, but in my example, it will be a little different. And then I have the echo pin, but however, this is actually a little different. You can see that this has resistor one, which is a 330 ohms resistor. And then that is also connected to this purple wire, which is the, which is actually going to the GPIO 24. And then there's another resistor down there. And then that's actually the resistor 2, which has a value of 470 ohms. And that ends up going to ground. So this circuit seems a little weird for the echo. So why is it like this? Well, so the, the reason why is because whenever the Raspberry Pi provides some voltage, what happens is that it provides it in heaps. Meaning that what happens is that sometimes you get a ton of voltage and sometimes you get very less voltage and that might cause the, your ultrasonic sensor to not work like sometimes it won't detect and sometimes it will be too sensitive so that's how it is sometimes so that's why we use these two resistors just so then we can keep the resistance equal meaning that we are going to get current in in a monotonous tone meaning that we're not going to get our voltage in heaps it will be controlled so that's why we use these two resistors there and then there's a ground pin which just goes to the negative terminal which ends up going to ground to the ground pin basically of the gpio so this is the overall circuit of the ultrasonic sensor with raspberry pi so now let's code it out so i've already done my remote desktop connection so now we'll just make it so first i'll say import rpi dot gpio as gpio so i'm just doing the basic program here and then i'll say import time and then i'll just say gpio dot set mode gpio dot bcm and then i'm just i'm just doing basic setup here and then i'll keep a gpio dot cleanup just in case we don't forget it later on so that's what i'll do and next we have to set up the pins so if you looked at our circuit then you would have also seen that the trigger and the echo pins are the only ones that end up going to gpio right so that's why we have separate pins for those and we're going to control them with our raspberry pi so i'll say echo is equal to 26 and that is the pin i have for echo and then i'll say trigger trigger is equal to pin number 19 so that is the pin i have for the trigger and then i'll say i'll say i'll just do the setup so i'll say gpio dot setup i'll say echo comma 
gpio.in actually and the and what this means is that uh, basically I'm using gpio.in because it, it's actually short for input but the main reason why I'm using echo is because uh, what happens is that it's kind of like the microphone so the speaker is the trigger and the microphone is kind of like the echo so it doesn't give out an output it takes an input so that's why I'll say gpio.in and then I'm gonna do the setup for the for the trigger so I'll just say gpio.setup and I'll say trigger comma gpio dot out okay so I've done the basic setup for the program so now we want to set up our trigger so what I mean is that whenever we send our ultrasonic radiation what we want is that we we are basically setting our trigger pin to true but then the problem with that is that we're continuously sending ultrasonic radiation which is not what we want to do so what instead we will do is we will just uh, turn it on for for some time and then we'll just wait for a very small amount of time and then after that we'll turn it to false so then it just gives out some ultrasonic radiation and it does not continuously give it out so for that i'll just say gpio dot output dot output and i'll say trigger trigger comma true and then i'll say time dot sleep and i'll say 0 0.0001 so that's what i'm doing there just like a very small amount of time and then i'm going to set it to false so i'll say gpio dot output and i'll say trigger comma false so this is how I am setting up my trigger over here. And now we just have to check our input from the microphone or the echo in our case. So for that, I'll just say while G, I'll say while GPIO dot input of echo, echo is equal equal to zero. Sorry, zero there. Then, well, then what I'll do is I'll just say start is equal to time dot time. What this does is that I'm just basically starting the time over here. So this way I'm calculating the time or the duration it takes for the for the ultrasonic radiation to get from the speaker to the microphone from the object detection basically. So then what I'll do is I'll say while GPIO dot input is of echo is equal equal to one then i'll say end is equal to time dot time so i'm basically ending it there so then here i'm just calculating the number of seconds it takes for the ultrasonic radiation to go from the speaker to the microphone so then i'll just say duration is equal to end minus start so that's what i'm doing there and after that, we are getting the duration, but we want to calculate the distance it takes from our ultrasonic sensor to the object. So for that, what we are going to do is say distance is equal to, and I'll say duration, duration times 17,150. So this might seem a little weird, but what are we doing here? So, so this is kind of like the formula of how we are converting the duration it takes from our ultrasonic radiation to get from the speaker to the microphone. We're basically converting that into distance. So that's basically the formula for that. And that's what it is. But the reason why we're using that specific number is because that's actually known as the speed of the, of the ultraviolet radiation that's actually the speed of it so that's why we're using that specific number because it's also part of the formula but with this way we're getting a huge floating point number meaning that we're going to get a very big decimal so then i'm just going to say distance is equal to round of distance comma two so i'm rounding it two digits up and then after that i'll just print the distance and that's all guys actually that's all for the program actually this is how we basically calculate the distance 
from this is actually how we calculate the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to the to the obstacle but this is how the ultrasonic sensor basically senses yes this is how the ultrasonic sensor will sense the things and this is how it basically works so now what i'll do is i'm actually going to uh, show up with this camera so i have a phone okay so i'll just go here there so i'll say always on top so this is uh, so you can already see that this is the ultrasonic sensor i have over here so now what i'll do is first slide my hand in there so i'll just i'll just keep it somewhere here so this is my hand you can see and you can approximately guess that this is a very less distance so now i'm gonna bring it to the side and then i'll run the program for you guys to see how the ultrasonic sensor basically detects this so you can see that it says 4.26 and this is in centimeters so you can see that okay this is approximately 4. Point, you can say that this is approximately 4.3 centimeters and that's actually very reasonable right you can see that this is about four centimeters if i bring it a little up or here then i think it's gonna detect from a from a really far distance so you can see that it's 11.71 and it actually looks very reasonable that that does seem like it's 10 to 11 centimeters so that's actually correct so you can see that our ultrasonic sensor is now actually sensing and it's actually working so i'll just uncheck this option and that's what it is so i hope you guys learned something about uh, about ultrasonic sensors today and uh, next video i'll show you guys how we can make an rc car with raspberry pi till then see you later